Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can handle opening up links in Swift UI. So let's get straight into it. So in some cases in your app you may need to open up links within Safari. So in Swift UI we can actually control that by using a control that allows us to do this called link. So let's actually add a link onto our screen to open up a URL. So rather than having a text here let's just delete this and then we're going to type out link like so. And I'm just going to create the um, instance of it. And you'll notice that you actually have a few options here. So the first two, op the first option that we're going to look at, we'll get to this label one in a second. But the one we're looking at is this title one. So you can actually define a string that you want to show on the screen here and a destination URL that you want to go to. So this is the page that you want to open up. And this title key option here is if you want to use a localized string within your localization so that your text updates depend on the language of the device. So let's choose this option here. And then for the title, we're just going to type out open tons dev. And then for the destination, we're going to set this to be a URL to my YouTube channel. So you want to make sure that you choose the option where you define a string after typing in it. And then I'm just going to copy the URL into here. Cool. And when you're working with URLs, when you want to open up a link, you need to make sure that you force and wrap it, which is why I have the exclamation mark after the creating the URL object. Now, in order to actually test this out, we can't use the Swift UI preview because it's not really a simulator. So in order to actually simulate this, we need to actually run it on an actual simulate device or a real device. So let's hit the run button here. So now on our simulator, if you look at it and I just make it a bit bigger, when you actually tap on this link, it's actually going to open up the YouTube website and actually load up my YouTube channel tons dev once it finishes so as you can see here it loads up my YouTube channel here and if we want to go back to our application the iOS system offers us a little back button in the top left hand corner that takes us back to our app so it's also worth noting that with link this label here you're actually able to customize it if you wanted to as well so if you wanted to make this like bold or bigger what you could do is apply a modifier onto it like so and we could make it a title and as you can see now our link text has gotten bigger so there's certain modifiers you can apply onto it but you can even go a step further and actually create your own custom views within a link so you're not just limited to using some string so what we're going to do is actually delete this and we're going to type out link again and in the option that we had before destination and label what this allows us to do is actually create the destination that we want to go to so the url and within label this is where we define the view that we actually want our link to be wrapped around so we'll create our own custom view which is going to be the tums logo tons dev logo so let's create the destination that we want to go to so i'm just going to copy the url in like so and then within label you want to hit enter so you get this closure and then within this closure, I'm just going to do a bit of typing and then we'll break it down. So now you'll notice here that within our link, we've defined the destination where we want to go to in our URL. And what I've just done is added an image onto the screen, made it resizable, set the frame to 100 by 100 and just clipped a circle that you cannot see. So in order to see this circle, um, we need to give it a color. So let's just give it a background of blue. And now you can see the background color on it. And if you want to learn more how to manage images in Swift UI, I actually have a video called Images in Swift UI. So you should check that out. So now, in order to actually see how this is tappable, let's actually run this again on our simulator. And as you can see, we now have the Tons Dev logo on the screen. And if I actually tap on my face here, it actually opens up YouTube. And I can actually tap the button in the top left hand corner to go back to where I were before. So if you wanted to, you could actually place any view within a link and make it tappable. So this is great if you have like a setting screen and you want to have it where someone taps on a cell or an SF symbol or whatever it is to open up some kind of URL. 
Okay, sweet. So that's everything in this video. If you enjoyed this content, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, as well, I'd really love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. And also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel as well as hitting the notification bell to get updates whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you all in a bit. Deuces.